Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl. Um, y'all see it's dark out here. It's nighttime, and I just got off work, and I had to make this video. I couldn't wait to make this video in the morning. I'm trying to get it, get this close to the light so that um y'all could see me. But I've been crying and. I just feel so bad because and I was having a good day I'm trying to get as good light as possible y'all gotta excuse me but I had to make this video but um, I was having a good day today and then we got a phone call at work that one of our co-workers was found dead in her apartment and I'm telling you I was on the phone with a guest when I got when someone came over to me and told me and I just could not believe I couldn't believe it I was just in when I tell y'all I was just in like total shock I had to hurry up and do what I needed to do on that call and get off so that I could get my mind right my heart started beating fast my palms started sweating um, I instantly started feeling funny um, I didn't cry because I don't think it had hit me yet it hadn't hit me um, so I was cool but I was feeling funny and I was like I gotta get off this phone so I ended up getting off the phone and um, trying to get myself together my mind my thoughts my feelings everything I was trying to get together um, because I just could not believe it y'all I had lunch with this lady on Saturday we sat together at lunch and I'm gonna tell y'all something like I was telling them I wouldn't tell everybody but I told a couple of people at my job I didn't say anything when I saw her on Saturday but on when I saw her she just did not look right on Saturday and when I talked to her she was like um and I was like how you feel and she was like I don't feel good she kept saying she didn't feel good um and she was saying that she had caught, she had, had the flu and that um, she had took off a couple of days and that she felt like she came back to work too soon. She said, I feel like I came back to work too soon because I'm still not feeling good. And I kept saying, you need to leave. You need to go home because you don't look right. Now, I didn't tell anybody at um, that day, but excuse me, I was telling a couple of my coworkers today that when I looked at her on Saturday and I didn't want to believe it I didn't want to think it but I'm I'm telling y'all I promise y'all in my heart I kept saying she looked like she about to die I mean she had this look in her face she had this look on her face like it wasn't her she actually for real for real she had the same look on her face that my grandmother had on her face before she died and I'm serious and I kid y'all not she looked she had that same like it was like a deathly look on her face and I kept saying she don't look, I kept saying Priscilla you don't look right you don't look right you don't look right I said it like to her like three times and I was like you don't look right she was like I know and I don't feel good she was like I don't feel good and you know I do want to leave and she didn't leave she ended up staying her whole shift um she actually ended up sitting she actually wasn't even on lunch when she ate lunch with me and I believe that that was God sending her to me to sit with me because she she don't even she works 6 to 2 30 I work 9 to 5 30 so our lunches are way apart from each other I think she go to lunch at like 12 or something but she came and sat at my table and she said oh I just had to sit down she said I just had to sit down and um put something on my stomach because I'm hungry she said but I just I don't I haven't really been eating and I could tell she had was like had lost a lot of weight these last couple of days or last week I had seen her she just didn't look now I don't know if she had any um previous illnesses that I don't know all I know is she was sick with the flu she had took some days off she came back to work and she still wasn't feeling right so I'm just like I don't know 
that right there just really shocked. I mean, I'm telling y'all, when I tell y'all this lady had an impact on so many people at work, that when everybody was going around saying it, people was just jumping up out their seats like, no, like screaming and no, and it can't be true. I mean, she was such a... I mean, I can't even describe to y'all what kind of person this lady was. She, when I was sick, and I don't know if you guys remember, well, I know I got a lot of new subscribers, but I know a lot of you who have been subscribed to me for a while remember when I had my blood clot in my leg and I was off work for a while. She, I am not lying, y'all. She literally sent me, a, I don't know even know how she got my address. She sent me a get well card in the mail with $25 in it. She did not have to do that. I mean, even though people at my job had took up a collection and they had sent me, um, that somebody had sent me, a, um, by one of my other co-workers that who had came to visit me, they sent me a car where everybody had took up a collection and they, and then my job sent me some flower, get well flowers and stuff. But she personally sent it to me from her house it was a uh had her home address on it she sent me a card with 20 and she sent me cash she sent me a card with 25 dollars cash in it. she did not have to do that and she said i hope you get better and take this money and spend it on you because i know you're not working and she did not have to do that but she was just that type of person that's just how she was i'm just i i'm just still can in shock like I done cry so much at work that I can't even cry no more. And I know I'm going to cry again when I get home because I'm not at home. I'm sitting outside, uh, if y'all can see. I'm outside the beauty supply store where my sister work at. Um, waiting on my mom to drop her car off for my sister. But I know when I get home, I'm going to, and I get in my room and, I'm, and it's quiet and I'm by myself. I know I'm going to break down again because... She was more than just a co-worker. I'm serious. She was more than just my co-worker. Even though we, we, we didn't hang with each other outside of work. But you don't find too many people like her. You really don't. And that just really, 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 really made me realize how short life is. I literally sat across from this lady. And we talked and had lunch. And I kept saying, Priscilla, you need to go to the doctor. I said, you need to go back to the doctor because you don't look right. You still look sick. You need to go back to the doctor. I literally just had a conversation with this lady on Saturday. And her nephew called because she didn't have any children. But she was really close to her nephews and nieces. Her, her nephew called and said that he... Had they hadn't heard from her since Saturday, and that wasn't like her. And he went over to her house, and she was in there dead. So, y'all, today is just, I'm just at a total loss of words right now. I just really, I feel like I lost one of my family members. I really feel like I lost a family member, even though, like I said, we didn't hang outside of work but i'm telling y'all this lady brightened up the whole office i mean her personality her vibe i've been at this job for almost eight years and she has i have never seen her sad never seen her mad never seen her like what's wrong with her never seen her like that never seen her with an attitude never heard her raise her voice at anybody never heard her have an altercation with anybody never heard anything bad about her she was just a wonderful person and i'm not saying she was perfect i don't know her life but i'm telling y'all this lady was she was a wonderful person to know and I don't care if I have to call off work I have to go to her funeral I don't really like doing funerals but I have to go see her one last time I have to because it, I would not feel right if I did not at least go see her and pay my respects to her because she cared about everybody at work so much I mean she cared about everybody she was genuine she genuinely cared about everybody and I just cannot believe I'm not gonna see her no more I cannot believe that like I just can't believe it I'm not gonna start crying because I don't cry enough I gotta get up go in the store and I don't want my eyes all red and stuff but I just I cannot believe this y'all and I cannot believe it and y'all and then on New Year's Eve we had a new guy that worked at my job New Year's Eve he died we don't know how he died we don't know any details but I mean people are just dropping like flies and 
I don't know. This is just a wake up and I'm just really, really sad right now. I'm really sad. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I, let me end this video because it's, I'm at 10 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I got my heat running in my car. I'm trying to wait on my mother, but I'm going to go ahead and go in the store and get me some stuff that I need out of here. And um, then I'm going to go home and fix me something to eat and lay it down because I have cried so much that I literally have a pounding headache. I mean, I really have a headache because I, I cry so much on the phone with guests. I don't even think these people realize that I was actually crying while I was talking to them. But I was literally crying while I was talking to guests, while I was talking to people, while I was talking to the hotel, while I was talking to human resources, talking to the sales department people. I was literally, I literally had tears in my eyes and they never even knew because I, I had to put my phone on mute and get myself together but y'all please pray for me and pray for her family and um, I'll talk to y'all later stay beautiful stay blessed and don't let anyone steal your joy and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye